Some people blame themselves for being HIV positive. Now, this kind of guilt and self-hate can be very self-destructive. Uh, no matter how you were infected, whether it be sexual contact or drug use or blood transfusion or some other way, you cannot change one minute of your past. So why beat yourself up? It's not a question of morality or moral judgment. It's a virus. It's a human condition. You don't need to be punishing yourself for testing HIV positive. Uh, grief or extreme sadness is one of the emotions uh, that many HIV positive people face. You may be grieving yourself, for yourself, facing the possibility of your own health. You may be grieving for others. This virus not only affect, affects our lives, but the lives of those we love. Uh, many of us have lost friends and loved ones to HIV or know others that are, are also learning to live with HIV. So if you sense this grief within you, you can allow yourself to feel it and even express it in some way. Try writing down how you feel or even allowing yourself to cry. Express yourself. Uh, these feelings are valuable and normal. Uh, ignoring these feelings will not make them go away. Uh, acknowledge these feelings. Some people who test HIV positive feel damaged in some way. You might think that no one will want to touch you or love you or that you are less than desirable because you are HIV positive. You may feel that you will never love again, that no one will want you if they knew that you were HIV positive. Remember, you are still a valuable person, capable of giving and receiving love. This may be a struggle, and you may have to find new ways of coping with daily life. Learning to adapt to HIV is going to be a journey, not a destination. Uh, many of us have been raised with the idea of rugged individualism, that we must face things on our own, because that is, that is what strength is all about. Asking for help or reaching out for support is sometimes viewed as being weak. Consequently, a very common response to testing HIV positive is withdrawal. We isolate ourselves, hiding the news of our HIV status. It is much more difficult to get on with your life and live happily if you're trying to do it alone. There is no need for you to handle this all by yourself and it's probably a mistake to even try. Uh, you're not the only one per person facing this. There are a number of organizations and individuals ready to assist you like the Better Way Foundation here in Columbus, Georgia. Learn who they are, what they offer, and start making decisions about the kind of support you need or want. Um, it's okay to cry. A good cry can be a healthy way to relieve anxiety and it might even prevent a headache or other con uh, physical con consequence. Create a quiet space. Um, Mediate, write in a journal, do a video broadcast, listen to your favorite music, and take deep breaths. Um, avoid self-medication, that's very important. Although you can use drugs to relieve stress temporarily, drugs do not remove the conditions that cause the stress in the first place. Drugs may be a habit forming and create more stress than they take away. They should be taken only on the advice of your doctor. Uh, suggested methods of stress reduction. Develop a regular physical fitness program and stick with it. Uh, eat nutrient rich foods and adequate protein intake. Avoid fats and sugar. Uh, find time to relax or meditate daily. Yoga is wonderful. Um, change your world view to see the positive side of everything instead of seeing the negative. Visualize a fighting immune system successfully beating off infections. Let go of anger and learn to forgive. Those are very important. Uh, develop or maintain close caring relationships. Participate in a support group. Uh, do loving things for other people. Okay? Um, 
develop a relationship with God or a higher power. Whoever you feel is out there, or whatever you feel moves you in here, that's what talks to you. Listen to your heart. Listen to your gut. Listen to your mind. Pray and ask to be prayed for. Um, there's a lot of power in prayer. You know, we're not going to get into all the religious aspects of it, but there is power in prayer. Experience humor and create opportunities for joy and laughter. You know, I try to constantly keep people laughing. You know, that's just my coping mechanism. I mean, I like to laugh and I like to make others laugh. And I'm sure we'll have a lot more laughs along the way. And one more thing that you might want to try to do as uh, for a method of stress reduction is experience nature. Uh, go on a nature hike. I mean, I'm not saying climb a mountain or something like that, but if you, if you feel you can, go right ahead. Right, look right here. Hike the Smokies. Do it. I mean, you can do anything you set your mind to if you're able to, though. But I mean, be sure you talk to your doctor about certain uh, strenuous activities that you do because they will tell you how to moderately adapt. You know, because you just can't start climbing Mount Everest. You know, you've got to start from small and work your way up. Um, go to an art museum. There's all the times art exhibits that are going on. Uh, your library's always got things that are going on. Every public library has an art exhibit usually going on. And every, every town, like our Columbus Museum here, it's always updated. Don't think it's always the same thing. They're always changing it. You know, I mean, if they always had the same thing, there wouldn't be no business there. And experience music. You know what makes you feel good as far as music goes, whether it be country, rock, pop, whatever. Find you some music that you enjoy, get you an iPod or whatever, get you a quiet place that you can go to and listen to that music and relax and enjoy. Most importantly, take care of yourself. Uh, you're special. Don't ever let anybody tell you you're not. Get enough rest and eat well. If you're irritable and tense from lack of sleep, or if you're not eating correctly, you will have less ability to deal with stressful situations. If stress repeatedly keeps you from sleeping, discuss it with your doctor. And make time for fun. Schedule time for both work and recreation. Now, you know, some people might say, oh, I don't work. We all work. You know, we have to clean the house, we have to do our laundry, we have to, you know, there's all kinds of things that we do that is work. I mean, just because we don't get a nine to five paycheck doesn't mean it's not work, okay? So, play can be just as important to your well-being as work. You need a break from your daily routine to just relax and have fun. Be a participant. Get involved. Offer your services in neighborhood or volunteer organizations. Help yourself by helping other people. I think that's the most rewarding thing that I've ever done in my life is helping other people. You know, and I've run, you know, a three million, well, let's see, how much was it? Almost three million dollars intake a year for a store. We, uh, three million dollars in merchandise sales, 250,000 gallons a month out of this store. I mean, you know, out of all the things I've ever done, the more, most accomplishing thing I've ever felt in my heart is reaching out to others and helping them. You're on your way to making new friends and enjoying new activities by being a participant. Get involved in the world and the people around you. And um, check off your tasks. Life can be, seem overwhelming. So list the tasks you have to do, then do one at a time. Checking them off is completed. Prioritize the most important ones and do those first. Stress negatively affects your immune system. It is next to impossible to eliminate all stress from your life, but when stress occurs, recognize and deal with it. Okay? Have a great night. Try to be stress free. Cry if you got to. Participate in events and have fun. I love you all and good night.